Well, I think the largest reason to get involved is that it's our opportunity to give back. You know, um, as attorneys, you know, we've been, you know, provided and, and work on a huge and, and really important skill set and uh, to represent people. But this is sort of the next step, right? This is the next step that you take in your legal profession to sort of get outside your comfort zone of, of working your, your day-to-day um, legal job, but really stepping into the shoes of someone who represents not only lawyers themselves, but also um, the wider DC community. And, and many don't know this, but serving on the board of governors also means that you are a board on the board of directors um, at the DC Bar uh, Pro Bono Center. So you are on the cutting edge of, of pro bono legal services in the district, um, and which many believe to be sort of the gold standard of pro bono work in the city. You have the opportunity to work with DC Bar staff. You have the opportunity to work with volunteer attorneys uh, to really provide um, cutting edge and 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 really personal and professional services uh, that are the best bar none in the city. And and you know finally, I think working on the you know being on the board, you have an opportunity to also work with with just amazing bar staff who who I've got to know um, over the years, and, and I have no doubt that they're the best uh, bar staff in the country. By far and away, the most influential thing um, that's happened to me while serving on the bar has been the relationships that I've developed with not only uh, other board members, uh, but also the bar staff. Um, you know, these are folks that I've I've gotten to know, become friends with. Uh, I think, you know, as attorneys, we're only as strong as the people around us. And so, if you're if you're looking to surround yourself with a with a, a network of of pure professionals, but also uh, build a network of friends who are there to support you uh, personally, but also professionally, um, this is this is the place for you. The advice I'd give prospective nominees is take your shot. Don't hesitate, go for it, you know, um, but also do it with eyes wide open. Realize that, you know, being a member um, of the Board of Governors is is not just a checkbox. It's not something that you just put on your resume. Um, you know, with, with great power comes great responsibility, which means that you're, you're you know, sort of in charge of steering the ship now right so um and and that for me um provides one a huge sense of accomplishment but also a huge sense of responsibility uh which means that you show up you know you show up to each meeting you show up to to whatever you know you you have to in order to sort of influence um not only the bar members fellow lawyers uh but also you're there for the the, the community writ large right especially in the sense that we're here to also um, support pro bono staff to, to provide legal services to those who, who are less fortunate, who can't afford it, uh, providing access to justice. So that's, that's my one piece of advice.